Okay, I'm gonna call roll. Okay, Sigifredo Perez. Adriana Alexander. Vidal Cantu. Saba Sabata. Present. And Elsa Garva. Miss Elsa, I can see is online, but we are unable to see or hear her. Should I go run and give her a call? Do I don't. So she's on the phone too. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Martinez. It's a little broken up. Could you repeat that again, please? Okay, I'll just test in the audio. See, yes, see if yes uh, audio and video is coming in clear. Um, we are still pending uh, members, so we are just waiting at the moment. Um, I will go ahead and put you on mute, and we'll be waiting for the attorney to go ahead and provide us instructions. Okay. says that she sees them. Where did we leave off? So it's mm -hmm. Ms. Elsa Galvan. Oh, we can, can we call her on the phone? That's the only way. Okay, yeah. We're, We're gonna call Ms. Galvan just to um, make sure that she's, yeah. she's. Uh, she can hear us, um, she can see us, but I don't know what's going on on her end. Okay. So we're going to call it. Is the actual uh, invitation also has a phone number that she can use, she can call into, and it will bring her into through the audio. Okay. And is her email, let me check. I have the email in front of me, actually. Um, it's Froggy Lady. Uh, froggy Lady, 1950. I have it right here. Yes. Let me, let me go ahead and send it to her so she can see the uh, 
That way she can see the information. So what are we waiting for? I'm sorry, can I ask you? Um, we are waiting to establish a quorum. Uh, the City of Laredo Priority and Procedure Manual requires uh, the quorum is not established after 20 minutes. After the posted time, then um, they may call uh, the chair or another commission nor can call uh, the meeting to order and just establish that there was no quorum so that the meeting may be canceled or rescheduled. I have a question for Cynthia. Did, did we, how come we didn't call the rest of the members? You didn't call the whole membership. What yes. Happened? yes, I did. Mr. Harper and... Oh, no, they, they have been removed because they are part of a... Um, uh, public office. Uh, Mr. Patino is running for public office, so he was removed. Uh, so his his position's vacant. And also, uh, well, Mark Peace was replaced. Uh, so we're waiting for the individual to get uh, to swear in. Um, District 6 is also, he's running for board. And District 7 has been appointed um, as a uh, committee treasurer, which is in a campaign effort. treasurer, a yes. campaign treasurer. So, okay. yes, sir. we have a shake up on the board or on the commission. Yes, sir. So, does that mean that uh, the money that they were going to get, we're going to get it now? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. No. Let, me, let me ask another question. I'm, uh, I better wait for Elsa because I've got a question for the city attorney. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You can go ahead and ask the question. Well, is Delta coming on or not? Or are you going to call Ms. Uh, oh, do you want me to? Or he was uh, Mr. Vasquez, did you uh, send Ms. Galvan the, the link? Yes, I, I just sent Ms. Galvan the link uh, and I highlighted the phone number, which is a domestic number. So she'll be able to call it and it has the code as well uh, with it. So that way she'll be able to call and use the specific code to come into the meeting for the audio. Okay, thank you. Mr. Rosquez is gonna act as a magician, right? <laughs> um, just support, just support. Well, it's very easy to get in if you have the right um, connection. I really enjoy it. Like I told you earlier, I attended uh, three meetings, two meetings already through Zoom. It's a great way to participate without having to face other people and risk the possibility of picking up the virus. You know, so. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> There she is. And it's Galvan. No, nope. still not getting audio. No, no audio.
Can we hear Elsa or not? Are we going to include her? We can see Ms. Galvan, but we can't, we can't hear her. There's a number that was provided in the link that Mr. Vasquez sent that you can call in with a with just a regular uh, phone um, and you can go ahead and, and speak and be heard. Okay, well then I'll proceed with a question I have for the city attorney. Does the police department have a code of conduct that they follow? Yes or no? I don't have the answer to that question right now. Um, Ms. Castillon and other city attorneys available. Um, maybe she can go ahead and answer it or provide me with an answer so I can I can answer you as soon as I have an answer. Well, the question is that um, when Mr. Martinez is being accused of, has that gone through the channels at the police department? Yes or no? So the, uh, the police department has policies and procedures that they're required to abide by that are also control the um, police department, which includes the, the communications department for the police department as well. So we're saying that if you violated those, some kind of discipline measures taken? Um, Mr. Zapata, uh, since we don't have a quorum available, maybe we should wait to establish a quorum before we discuss the specific matters uh, that are on the agenda. Okay, well, then we're done, right? The, um, the uh, procedures manual requires um, to wait 20 minutes. So unless you guys wanna call it now, um, I would uh, recommend waiting for the 20 minutes, which we still have about six minutes left. Are we moving into the October meeting, Cynthia? Yes, uh, it's the second Wednesday of the month would be on the 14th. Okay. Yeah, just um, send a reminder because we today's yes. meeting, we got notified today. Even though it's on a schedule, but you see, you got a spoil, Cynthia. You send us every Friday, you send us a notification of the meeting. We didn't get anything last Friday. So, but I mean, you're doing a great job. You know, just some of us have to be reminded. I'm old. If I don't get reminders, I forget. But I had the meeting on because it's a regular scheduled meeting on the second Wednesday of the month. So I'm, I was okay, but uh, just remind people for the next meeting so we can have the quorum. Okay, are we out? Are we done? Mr. Vasquez? Um, that I, I certainly will defer to the city attorney's office. For Ms. Galvan, I do want to mention, um, I will get together with Ms. Vries so that way we can set a time and maybe do a test run and be able to troubleshoot to ensure that you don't have the problem with the audio uh, in the future. Right. Okay. So I'm going to bug out of here so I can go to dinner. And then you want to go with me? No? <laughs> no. All right, I'm going to check out. Is that okay? If we could wait the four minutes just to see if if other members log on, if not, then then we can go. You can go ahead and, and call the meeting uh, that it was canceled. If you don't mind.
it's 550, which is 20 minutes after the posted time, um, a quorum failed to materialize. So Mrs. Uh, Cynthia Reese, the staff liaison, will be calling on, uh, this meeting will be postponed and Ms. Reese will get in contact with the commissioners to reschedule it for the uh, regularly scheduled time in October, which would be the second Wednesday of the month. Thank you. Have a good evening. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.